Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on the college website link and download the workbook Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, we're on the sheet tab NPER because we're going to look at the NPER function. Yes, you can use the NPER function to calculate number of periods. Now here's the situation. We want to know how long to pay off our credit card if we only make the minimum payment. Here's our credit card balance. There's our APR, number of compounding periods. Ah, and so convenient. They're so nice. They'll let us just pay off this by paying 41 bucks at the end of each month. All right, let's see how this works. How long is this going to take to pay off this $2,000? Equals NPER. And as always, these financial functions, all, the unit has to be the same for all of them. So for us, it's going to be months. And cash flow matters. So you need to know when to put the minus and the plus. Now the rate. The rate is going to be, remember this is NPER. Now, this is NPER. We can see our little screen tip here. Uh, and since we're dealing with months, this NPER is going to give us total number of months. What is the rate then? Since it's for months, we have to do a little calculating here. We have to click on our APR divided by our 12, comma. We have a rate that's in the month. Now we need a PMT that's in the right unit, month. Now, wait a second. When we're paying off the credit card company, that $41 is coming out of our wallet. So that means this should be a minus. Cash flow signs matter in finance. I'm going to type a minus and then click on that 41 because the payment is going out of our wallet. I'm going to type a comma. The present value, that is positive. That $2,000 is a loan to us, in essence. So that is positive. I'm just going to click right there. We don't have any balance left over at the end. I type a comma and get to the future value. If we did have some balance left over, we'd put it there. Comma, to get to skip an argument, I just put an uh, extra comma there. To get to type, I'm going to click right there. That zero means that we pay at the end of the month. If this was a one, it means at the beginning of the month. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Now, that's total month. So we need years. So I'm going to say equals and click on the months. And what are we going to do? Divide by 12, Control, Enter. So it'll take 7.36 years to pay off our credit card if we make only the minimum payments. That is depressing, but at least we can do the math. All right, we'll see you next Excel Finance trick.